hey people thank you for your presence by the way thank you for your support i really really appreciate that you're here today so today i wanted to speak about um relationships and by relationships don't confine it into one thing but majorly it's based on intimate relationships and friendships so please have an open mind when i'm saying this so these are the things i've learned um, from let's just say experiences so by experience i mean internally and externally you know my surroundings myself all that stuff so the first one is be open to change and growth even when it challenges you to shift your comforts so this basically means don't go into relationships expecting people to stay the same because a lot of people get frustrated with and that's why they uh, have this negative connotation about oh you've changed you've changed as if it's this bad thing you're allowed to change so allow it on other people to change when people grow when environment changes it also influences how they change especially people who are connected like spiritually they love to grow spiritually it automatically translates to how they grow towards people towards relationships because it changes how they see themselves from inside so I hope you understand what I'm saying. Also, the next one is understand everyone has their secrets. And if they're growing, there'll be more. Some based on your character and others on theirs. So this plays on trust, mindsets. And by mindsets, I mean like standards, um, positivity or negative atmosphere. Also, spirituality and motivation. What inspires them, what drives them. So this means... Uh, don't catch feelings when people keep things from you, especially people you've known over a long period of time. You know, when it's an intimate relationship, it's kind of different when it comes to secrets. Because obviously, you do not want to be with someone who keeps things that will affect you from you. You get what I mean? And I mean this by... You know, someone you're trying to know like on an intimate level. Someone you see as your partner in the future but when it comes to friendships i feel like secrets are important and i don't mean the negative kind of secrets i mean the kind of secrets where it allows you to grow into a better person so yeah don't catch feelings when people keep secrets from you because i always believe there is uh, from experience i've learned their secrets you can share with someone you trust because you know their character you know what they stand for and you know this thing no matter what happens between you people no matter the grudge your secret will be safe you know what i mean and they will protect you because there are people who get a little hurt they get petty they start doing like you know they start doing shady stuff just to get at you which is you know like if you're doing that like that's not a good thing so and the second one i believe there are secrets where you tell you can tell people why it's happening not before so let's just name them so i believe there are three secrets the ones you say before it happens the ones you say during while the thing that you're keeping a secret is happening and there are secrets that are revealed you know this is based on if you want to say it or if it's revealed, you know, by something you do that becomes automatically, you know, a public thing. Let's say like success, you know, it becomes a public thing, so it's no longer hidden. So, yeah, so, you know, like the secrets you keep, there are secrets you keep because it protects you. There are secrets you keep because it protects someone else. But base it on truth because there are things you can keep let's say like uh, if someone tells you uh something like they want to do uh you know to end someone's life i feel like that's a secret you're supposed to find uh people who can handle that situation you know just so that when it if you know the person is serious you know if you know that person is serious according to how they're saying it you know like 
they are protected because you don't want also someone's blood on your conscience you know and by killing you know if you do follow me you do know that i use kill as a phrase to refer to your soul your mind your body your spirit because there are people you know people like to specify uh, killing as you know knife to skin but a lot of people are out here doing worse you know because they are inflicting wounds that people never grow out of they're inflicting wounds that generations have to carry because those people have to carry it to their children because of an effect that was created by one person you know it's like a ripple effect is it called a ripple effect yeah you know how you throw a stone and it's like two tiny waves are they called like tiny like ripples you know what i mean like you throw a stone it creates one ripple the one ripple creates another two you know that consistency so yeah keeping secrets is healthy if it's based on truth and if it's based on uh, good a good thing if it's in protection you know if you know that if you say this thing to someone it will destroy you why say it you know learn to keep your secrets and learn to keep other people's secrets no matter what is going on in your relationship let's say like if you're friends with someone and you two get into a conflict and you're no longer friends like grow up you don't need to go telling people about the things they told you in confidence you know especially when you know it's something that uh, really matters to them a lot the next one is nothing is ever really hidden there are things about you that you think can't be known or seen and there are things seen due to the change in you or your environment it means that there are things about you you think people don't notice like let's say if you have a negative energy towards people and you hang around those people but have you ever had like situations where you have you're in a certain group of people but there's always this nudging inside you that tells you i'm not supposed to be here because you feel it you can feel even though people are being on the surface nice to you you have this feeling about maybe a certain person why i can't trust this person i don't know why i always feel like like it's not real like it's not legit friendship like if we were in a bad situation this person would leave you out in the cold you know like trust your instinct that's what i um i mean by there are things you think people don't know about you that they do know and feelings like jealousy feelings like um you don't want people to grow people can always feel it because it comes out of you without you knowing so the best way to handle these situations is if you feel a certain way about situation and you're uh, in a relationship or friendship with someone you can speak to the best way is to sp to speak about it and personally i'd advise speak about it with someone who is outside your circle someone who is not biased by the type of person you are because they who are biased about you they will think about um, you instead of their situation so when they judge it they judge it according to how they know you instead of the truth and also there are things about you like your capabilities there are people who will speak negatively to you yet deep down they believe in you like they know they can see that you can be anything in life like you can be whatever you want to be in life but how they speak to you or how they react not react because reacting means you did something to influence it so i feel like the best way to handle this situation is to believe in yourself to find people who speak into your life that way it opens your eyes to seeing situations where it's like you're hidden you feel like you're hidden you feel like you can't be seen and you feel like you're confined because of your environment also if you stay in a certain this is why i always say i don't know if i've said it before in like my talks but this is the thing i realized about don't be um consistently in one certain group of people like they think the same they act the same they behave the same you know be 
in diverse groups because it helps you it allows you to see yourself in different ways it allows you to grow it allows you to see situations where you assume or you don't notice that they are negative you know like if you hang around different people you will realize that oh how come i never noticed that that side of things was negative it's because you've exposed yourself to diverse people that's why i say always be open to people's ideas people who are different from you people who believe different from you because it allows you to see uh, to challenge what you believe in it allows you to challenge your beliefs even about yourself about your perceptions your intentions your motives because you can walk around life assuming you're this nice person and you get into another certain group and you you start seeing your bad traits or you stay in a certain uh, group of people and you come out of it and you hang around other groups of people and you realize wow i've been downplaying myself so that's yeah. why i mean by nothing is ever really hidden all you need to do is change your environment and the people you hang around the next one is always love people to the best of your oh i love this. i'm mad passionate about this one like always love people to the best of your ability and this thing I discovered because I used to, sometimes I used to have these situations, I used to question myself, why do I give so much to people, you know, until I feel like I'm drained. And I don't mean like that is a good situation, but I mean like if you're in a place where like, if you're blessed with the ability to help someone in a certain situation and it's not draining you do it if you feel like you can speak into people speak into them and don't look at how much you're giving because i think the best way to live your life is to give give more than you expect to get back that way you it's like consider it like planting seeds you go around planting seeds and those seeds will grow and also um, there are people who love uh, to be there are people who believe in karma for me personally I believe in the book of remembrance like it's under God's authority God has a funny way of coming back to check on people when we least expect it like you see like there is something like I was doing like this something that I knew it wasn't right but I had a how do I say a hard time getting out of it so let's say it was a stuck situation and I always used to think in the back of my mind this thing will come to haunt me one day because it's a seed I'm planting you know so and the funny thing is when it happened I was like I knew it I was like speaking to myself saying I told you so because I knew I really believe that what you put out is what you get back so I really prefer living on the principle of never do to others what you will not want others to do to you. Like, let's say if you will not appreciate uh, standing up, let's, how do I say, if you do not appreciate people um, correcting you on your, on your mistakes, on the things you're doing wrong, don't do it to others, you know like if you want people to speak to you life you have to speak life to others if you want people to grow and you feel like it's it's only right for you to tell people when they are doing something wrong so that they can correct it allow people to do the same for you you know because these seeds we plant they will grow at some point if you give out love it comes back to you if you give out joy it comes back to you if you give out um what is it uh false falsehood it comes back to you you know falsehood where you can't tell your friend or someone you're hanging around that what they're dressing doesn't look good on them you know and by this i mean i am using that example loosely because there are people feel like now they will go overboard and start controlling your life based on knowing you no one has that right you know it let people choose the type of life they want to live the kind of clothes they want to wear yeah even if it makes you uncomfortable because you know 
just don't be don't be domineering to people just because you're trying to live a truth because I don't know if this is right but I feel like we only have one truth but people have twisted the image of truth into there is your truth and my truth and their truth there is only one truth the God truth you know so don't be domineering and don't be a liar and don't be you know a hypo don't live a hypocritical life towards others or towards you know in your inten intentions let your intentions and your motives always be rooted in the right things in the right place let your focus you know everything you do be rooted in the right things and the right place we get i hope you understand what i'm saying the next one is you are not who they tell you you are this means that just because they they got it right once about you doesn't mean that they will always get it right about you okay this one i think i have to like give a picture of it so that you can understand it uh, the person you are when let's say you are a child is not the person you are right now whether your circle changed or not you're completely a different person so i feel like um there are people who get stuck on this idea of you uh let's say like for me personally i grew up a very quiet person i was the type of person if you you know did jabbed at my head like that i wouldn't do anything to you but over time i've changed you know i've changed so much that there are situations i look at and i feel like I can't give time to this one and there are situations I have to stand up for myself and I'm so you know passionately aggressive about what I stand up for you know like now there are things that I used to allow to happen to me like for people to do that I can't allow right now so that's what I mean by people can know you but that doesn't mean you're that person all throughout your life so if you changing allow other people to change and be uh, and always keep it in mind that people don't have to grow long term with you because they are changing they might reach a stage in their life where they feel like you're a confinement like you're holding them back or they feel like they get cautious about their jumps by jumps i mean the risks they want to take into growing into the next person so everything i'm saying right now is like it goes two ways if you expect it of you you have to expect it of others if you expect yourself to change allow it like allow other people to change if you expect yourself to grow allow other people to grow and that might mean in your presence or in your absence depending on your character the person the type of person you are also uh, this next one i learned from <coughs> someone you are going through a phase and it was it was like a conflict situation talking about the conflict you know cum, an accumulative set of conflicts and i remember i used to try to speak into their conscience this is about don't be the person who keeps nudging people to listen to you to hear you to consider you or the people around you and i remember this person say don't be people's conscience people always know when they are doing right and when they are doing wrong and this goes back also to uh the thing i said about speaking about we as human beings i believe we as human beings we are all spirits and being spirits i believe that our spirits always know the truth that's why we have nudgings and instincts and discernments intuitions you know you always have this thing if something is going to go wrong you always have this thing in you that tells you no don't go there or or you know the opposite of it like that deal is right go for it so the thing about um when i was told this you know at the time i think it it's it weighed heavy on me because I used to be that type of person who used to want to I used to have this agent agency of speaking to people's conscience. Now I'm just like if I speak to someone about a certain situation and I bring truth into that situation and they don't listen to it, I don't 
lose sleep or relax sleep over it i just let it go you know as long as it's not affecting me i let it go or i separate myself from that situation or i change the context of their relationship in a way that whatever they do against their conscience or against truth doesn't affect me or doesn't hold me back you know i hope you understand that the next one is the best way to grow is to realize that not all relationships are forever no matter how great or perfect they keep being there are people who will best grow away in your absence and you too will do best at times to grow in others presence or absence i think people we as people we always assume the people we grow distant from or the people, people have to cut off relationships from are people who have been bad to us but i feel like there are a lot of good people we've grown distant from there are people we stopped uh connecting with and it's not because either one of you did something wrong it's just that people get connected you know especially if you grow older you realize that you have this need of connecting with your spirituality over everything maybe not all people but most people we feel like that when we the more older we grow we realize it's like we are more connected to our spirituality and the funny thing about spirituality is it causes you to grow in a way that you become distant with some people and you become closer with people you never even thought you'd be close with because you realize the values the virtues are like you know similar i don't know if this is understandable so yeah so realize have an open mind and always understand that there are people who have to must grow away from you like by must i mean in your absence they have to grow in your absence and there are people who grow in your presence so learn to be open to the fact that not everyone will run with you and not everyone will want you running with them you know the concept of the same boat so every one of us can be in the same boat but there are some who will jump off to swim to a, um, another island there are some who will go the whole way you know there are some who will um, maybe will get a speed boat you know to hop off from the boat to the speed boat so you know be open to people living and people uh, being present in your life like both sides of the coin you know that's the best way to live life next one is you don't have to agree on everything everyone has a right to truth and truth can look different from different perspectives just don't allow what you believe in to deprive you or them of the freedom or protection given to them by god this is to put it simply the freedom of um people to make mistakes the freedom of people to think for themselves and that means that everyone thinks differently based on the truth on how truth speaks to them um there are people who are led by the truth of their experiences you know and going back to truth doesn't change you know but perspectives how the truth influences perspectives is what changes because you can look at one cup but the way we interpret that cup is so different so that's why i'm saying uh, be open to arguments and by arguments i mean healthy arguments you don't have to agree with everything and i feel like it's domineering to assume that everyone has to think the same way as you it's not truth to deprive people of what they believe in is truth you know all you can do actually the best way to help people grow in relationships when it comes to truth is to speak to them about it show them buy books you've read that have helped you grow you can lead them to for them a link that helps them grow in certain areas that you feel like maybe it will speak to them and let let that seed grow on its own you don't have to keep you the seed checking if it has it if it has if it has roots then put it back in the soil the seed will grow you have to put the seed in the soil cover it and if it's not a situation you can water it you let it grow and you know people who will uh, 
argue that you have to water a seed but I think all of us will agree we've all seen a seed that has grown without a human being watering it. Sometimes you just have to let God, not actually sometimes, most times you have to let God be the one who waters a seed in someone's life, you know. So yeah, I could talk about this topic a lot but those are a few a few of my truths. They might change with time, you know, I might experience something today that will change a pers one of the perspectives of what I've learned but that's what's supposed to happen you know don't hold people to their past when they are consistently growing yeah so I hope you enjoyed this and if you have questions comment below like share subscribe if you've learned something that would help me grow also comment below i'd appreciate it or send it to me you know my contacts are down i link them down below and also if you have you know questions questions suggestions you know of good books for them i appreciate it you know this is a platform where we are here to grow it's more about inner growth i'm focusing on inner growth all this the physical it's affected by the inner so why not focus on the inner you know yeah and also if you feel like I'm helping you grow walk this journey with me but if you honestly feel like I'm not benefiting you in any way please do not follow find someone who helps you grow that's more important to me than you being here you know me having a status of having a bunch of people who don't grow i'd rather have people a few people even one person who genuinely legit feels like i speak into their lives and they grow because that's my ultimate goal grow from the inside to the outside so yeah thank you for your time for your presence god bless you i love you and i appreciate you and keep living your dream keep living your passions don't listen to the naysayers or listen to them and use it and create a song, you know, but don't create a, a you know, a bitter song. Use the negative to explore the positive. So, um, yeah, that's all. Thank you for your time and your presence. I love you and see you next time. <laughs> like, share, subscribe.